What's going on everybody? My name's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my ukulele build. I'm building a tenor ukulele from a stumac.com kit. First part is to attach the bracing to the front and the back. I'm going to start with the back. All right, I've got the bracing plan, the instructions, the front and the back, and the braces themselves. So I need to figure out which of these are the back braces first. You know, it doesn't it doesn't really say what's what. So I'm gonna just do my best to figure this out and I'll come back to you. Alright, I think I got it. So I basically just took each of the braces and just lined them up where they would fit. So these two smaller ones were obviously the top braces of those diagonal ones. These are obviously these X braces. These are obviously the top braces right here. There's the bridge. So all I have left are this back plate. This is the longest one in the pack, so it's got to go right there for the back brace. And then I have these two sets of almost identically sized braces. Now according to the drawing, these, these darker ones are the back braces. They're slightly longer than the top braces, so this one's just slightly longer, so I'm going to say that that's the back brace. And these are just about the same length. Well, I'll tell you what. The one on the top here is just very slightly shorter, so I'm going to say that this one is the back. So I've got my three back braces. For it says to decide which side of the back I want to be the outward side. So this one has a weird looking streaky appearance, so I'm going to go ahead and choose this as the outward side. That means I need to glue the braces on this side. So it's a good thing I left those little tabs on there because that lines up with the tabs on the bottom and top of the back and that helps me to be able to center it. So it says to transfer the mark, the center marks, which there's a dotted line that goes down the center. It says to transfer that to the to the back. So I guess I'll, I, mean, I don't know that I need to do that, but I'll do it anyway just to mark that as the absolute center. Now I've got to take a punch, or an awl, I've got an awl, and I'm going to make a mark on each side of the braces. And then what I'll do is I'll connect those lines, and that'll tell me where to put the braces. So the braces fit right inside the little drawing on the diagram. The black line of the drawing is on the outside of the brace. I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a hole on that black line and on the dark black line of the body. So at each of those intersections where, those, where that line crosses that line, I'll poke a hole all the way around the plan, and that'll tell me where the edge of each brace goes. And before I go with that, I'm going to make sure again that this is centered, centered on the back. Center lines match up. I really need more light in this shop. It's too hard to see. It does make a little bit of mark that you can barely see. Okay, so I can see them. Now I just have to connect the dots from here to here. They're there and they're there. All right, the next recommendation was from the plan just to have this piece of wood clamped to the end of your table. And that way that gives you room to set your piece, get your clamps on, and then have room to be able to get all your clamps in there without having to worry about lifting it up or putting it on blocks or something like that. Seems like a great idea, so that's what I'm going to do. It also says to do a dry run first, just to make sure that you've got your clamps right and that you're ready to go whenever you're ready to add glue. And then what I'm going to do is take some blue tape and put it down on both sides of each brace, and that will help with squeeze out. Got a scrap piece of wood here. And this will go across the top of all three. And then I'll clamp down in the middle right here. And then for the edges, I'll have smaller clamps to hold each edge. Now it might actually be easier to clamp these edges first. They have a bow to them. They're, they're not perfectly flat. And that's to, to add a bend to the back. If I try to clamp in the middle, they're going to want to move. So I think I might clamp the edges first. That should do for the dry run. 
so it's going to be hard for me to get the tape on here. Um, I think I could probably take the uh, the center call off and at least get the tape down. That'll at least help with the majority of the glue squeeze out. And I'll just have a little bit of cleanup to do on the edges. I don't have any clothespins. Uh, these feel like they've got about as much strength as a clothespin. But these, they left marks in the wood, like indentations, and I don't want to ruin them. So I'm not going to use these. All right, so I'm ready for glue. I've got a little pool of glue here on some blue tape. So I'm just going to add some glue to the braces. Uh, the instructions say that you don't need to add it to the braces. You can just put it on the back. But since I don't have tape going all the way down on the ends, I don't want to just put glue all over right here. And I don't have a very fine uh, glue brush. As you can see, it's kind of wide. But So I'm going to just do it on the back of the brace. And I think that should work fine enough. I'm going to push down on these with my hand to get a lot of the glue squeeze out out so that I can pull the tape up before I put the center clamp down. Otherwise, I don't think I'll be able to get the tape off. I ended up putting those uh, metal clamps back on there. These, those other ones were just not holding at all. And I was afraid that they weren't going to be enough pressure to make the glue bond. So I just put them right on the very ends. So hopefully it won't damage it too bad, if at all. So anyway, I'm going to let it glue overnight because it's uh, kind of late right now and I don't have time to do any more. Alright, it's been overnight and uh, let's see how it worked out. Looks like they're all glued down sufficiently to the edges, so looks like it worked out. I'm just going to use a car scraper and scrape off some of the glue that's on the braces uh, just to clean it up a little bit. All right, now that I'm done with the back, I can begin on the front. And it's basically the same process. Using the diagram, I use an awl to mark where the braces go, connect the lines, and then glue them all down. So this plan on the, for the top is a little bit bigger than the actual top piece itself. So it hangs over a little bit. So I'm just making, trying to make sure that the, the circle, for the sound hole, lines up with the edges. I can feel it there. So once I'm satisfied there, I'll just go ahead and mark center. So if I have to put it back on there, I'll put it back in the same spot. And then I'm going to take my awl and start marking for these braces. There were a couple on the back I had to redo because I couldn't see where I had made the mark. So I had to push a little harder. So I'm making sure that I can see them before I move on. I'm getting set up for the front braces and one thing I noticed is the bridge plate does not even match the size on the plans and the angles different so it's not going to push all the way up against the top braces that makes me wonder if this bridge plate is supposed to go with one of the smaller models all right I've got the dry run done for these top two braces so I'm going to remove all the clamps I've got tape going all the way to the edges, so this time I'm going to just put glue on the body itself instead of trying to put it on the, on the braces. And then clamp it down. I'm 
I'm going to do the rest of the braces and I'll meet you at the end. Alright, so I just got to do a little bit of cleanup of some glue, squeeze out and where I smeared some glue. And what's left is the bridge plate, which I showed you earlier, does not match the plan. And the angle's wrong. They don't line up to the X braces. And my understanding is that this needs to be touching the X braces. And that transfer helps to transfer the sound to the soundboard or something like that. But it's not, it's too small for the plan. So I contacted Stu Mac. And I'm going to hold off on this since I do have time to still add this in here before I attach it to the sides. I have a whole other step before I get to that point. So I'm going to wait to see what they say. Um, I suggested that maybe it was the wrong one for the uh, tenor ukulele. Maybe it's a concert or soprano ukulele part and it was just got put in the wrong bag. I don't know. I'm going to see what they say. I'll let you know what they say. But that'll do it for this part. Got the bracing pretty much done other than some cleanup here like I mentioned but uh, thanks for watching um, subscribe so you can see the other videos in this series uh, next is going to be uh, attaching the, t the heel block and the tail I don't know the names of them, the blocks to <laughs> the head and the tail to attach the sides together so that's going to be the next step so tune in appreciate you watching thanks for checking it out and I'll see you next time bye